who you're messing with. Do you know who you're messing with? Taylor Gabriel almost broke his neck. That's all good. Yeah, is it three times? I mean, that one off the back leg, excuse my uh, snot, is. Uh... Are we live? Oh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, okay. Uh, whoops! EC Sports, we live live. Yeah, episode, I don't know, because we're switching it to the correct numbers. Right. Fuck all of those 60s and 70s stuff. But. I had a little cold, so I'm going to speak a little louder. Yeah, good to That's have you That's how they guys. say I should speak anyway. We had a great weekend mm -hmm. uh, with some stuff that we're going to bring to you guys. We're so secretive. But we're working. You guys know we're working. I like our uh, your guys. Soon to be my guy, Corey, once he learns my name. Yeah, yeah. Shout out, uh, Corey. He had a good story post mm -hmm. that uh, we're not telling everybody what we're doing. We're not right. trying to be those guys. We're just... Just on the low. To, you yeah. Handle your business yeah. behind closed doors exactly. and then come out and prosper. Something that, luckily, we get to talk about this this young man for the last time and hopefully a while. Yeah, um, we're going to make this brief because he's kind of dominated the show and the whole sports world Too for much. the last three to six months. Um, goodbye, Antonio Brown. If you really are leaving the NFL, oh. um, you know, this is a crazy, crazy ride. For the folks who thought he was a genius – for getting out of his contract in Oakland. What say you now? We're Daddy. not really here to talk about uh, AB talking about being uh, booming business. Business is closed uh, right now. His agent actually did come out and say that Drew. he's keeping the door open for potential NFL teams. He's talked to NFL teams. Um, Drew Rosenhaus did, and um, they're still interested. He doesn't think Antonio Gotta Brown's do done job. in the he's NFL. Gotta do his job. Yeah, shout out Drew Rose. He lost a little bag too. A little? His bag, you know, AB don't make no money. Drew, he got more clients, but, you know, that was at least another house. Hey, at least. AB is a different type of client. But um, Adios, what buddy. I don't like, and I know how we, like, get rid of people real quick. Mm -hmm. Do you think he was snitching? Or do you think he was just very upset? Yeah, 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 yeah. He was, he was, he awesome. was letting off the, he emptied the clip. Is it okay? For, we can't play like the Nino Brown clip because there's so many different things. But mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. He taking everybody down with him. Yeah. He even had the Nino Brown haircut. But Hold it, on. Did y'all young whippersnappers see New Jack City? No. Mister, you didn't see New? For real. Seriously. Uh, what's his name, right? Yeah, yeah, you saw it. All right. With who? Wesley? Oh, pro probably, but you probably can't quote me on anything. I probably did. I probably was sat down and had to see it around the time when I was watching Candyman, right? New Jack City. Bro. Candyman. You didn't see New Jack City? Bro. I don't know. Probably not. I know you were born in Schaumburg, but yeah, come on. What year did it come out? Man, Devolution, man. We're not going to get into We're not going to do into any of that. We're not going to do in New what, Jack. We're not going to talk about movies right now because I could go into a whole little tailspin on how no okay, movie we're gonna, we're gonna put made that clip just no case. movie made before 1980 matters. Bro, shout yeah. out to Wesley Snipes. This dude saying you make 70s movies. Wesley, you reach out, bro. You know that's Blade. That was an 80s movie. Blade was in the 80s. You know they remaking that? We talking about movies and yeah. shit. Siskel and Ebro. Yeah, this is what they Antonio Brown does. They be making that with does. my guy, bro. Uh, what's his name? With, uh, what's his name? Ballhead dude. Yeah, he can be no, cold with it. Head. Well, he not ballhead. My guy he just keep a what? A really low taper? A one? A yeah, half? Keep a one. But I can see him as Blade. But I'm just saying, Anyways. he was on some, I'm taking everybody down with me. Yeah. And he fit. That's what he did. He was like, all right, Ben. Kick it. All right. Robert uh, Kraft. Robert Kraft. He, 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 he. he even came as the sharp Sterling. Oh, hey, Shannon? Sterling. He came Shannon. as Shannon? I'm talking about his Yeah, brother. he came at Shannon. His little, uh, not his little, in his uh, alleged sexual assault case where he had to step down. But, um, you know, that's what hurt people do. You got to hurt other people right now. Antonio Brown doesn't have a lot of people to blame except for himself because all of these Dennis issues. 
think and he had his phone, one of those. A little man-made. I don't think Antonio Brown had one of these at the time. He was telling, um, you know what? We're done. No more Antonio Brown <laughs> yeah, segment I'm on sorry. the EC Sports Show. They Goodbye. Can I have? Can I have the floor? I, I wrote this down, Dion. Can I have okay. the floor for one second? It's all yours. I have the floor for one second. When, when we run this back, I just need I just need to zoom in right here. I have a um one more goodbye that I wanted to oh, that, I, that I put boy. together. Dear 2019 Chicago Cubs, Pakota was right. This was supposed to be a put up or shut up year, and you shut the fuck up. <laughs> know about a cubby magic reverse the curse this is our year bullshit could cure what ailed this team yes injuries suck but the yankees were the most injury team in league history and they won a million fucking games <laughs> yes pitching is aggravating but the cubs starting pitchers had the seventh best era in all of baseball whoa and the two people that cubs fans wanted to crucify you, Darvis, and Tyler Chatwood were not the problem in the second half of the year. In fact, they were probably two of the most consistent pitchers on the team. You all know what killed the Cubs? Chris Bryant's inconsistencies in his health. The Cubs' lack of a leadoff hitter. Hey, Dexter Fowler hit a leadoff home run yesterday for the division-winning, soon-to-be St. Louis Cardinals. Kyle Schwarber forgetting how to uh, hit a baseball for months at a time. Or Hell, even him. Anthony Rizzo not showing up when he needed to. It's our leader. It was a precedent set by the front office, given down by the ownership coming into the offseason, where we didn't have any money. The team that opened up a goddamn hotel across the street <laughs> and got a whole new ballpark decided to say, hey... We're going to close the pocketbooks to only four months later open the pocketbooks for Kimbrel, who ever so poetically blew yet another save to seal the fate of the Cubs this past weekend. Ouch. To the 2019 Chicago Cubs, the only positive I can pull from this season is I appreciate you guys not dragging this into a wild card playoff series to True. only lose to the Colorado fucking Rockies in in extra innings at home. Yeah. I didn't want to see you get buzzsawed by Max Scherzer or Steven Strasburg. In there. So at least thank you for that. Theo, I appreciate you for what you're about to do this upcoming season for the players that we are going to say goodbye to in the future. And manager. And manager. Thank you for your service. We have a banner in Did Chicago all, because of y'all. Can we cut to the picture of me, Dylan, and Mr. Madden? This is a very nice picture. I like that, right? I do. We'll also throw in the video of the last, I guess, memorable um, in-person moment I had at Wrigley Field. The, uh, the 2016 NLDS. Wait, you were there? Where we eliminated the St. Louis Cardinals. Me and my pops were season ticket holders. I'm speaking as a family yes. season ticket holder. Wow. You play this video as well. Wow. Those days are gone. They're over. That's cool. Theo, what's next? What's the next? This is your first real adversity as a man, as a president of all things Chicago Cubs. Putting Warren to work on the editing. Ain't we? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. We're getting big time here. And, um, you know, if I got to say goodbye to uh, Kyle Schwarber, if I got to say goodbye to Ian Happ, if I have to say goodbye to Albert I mean, Almora, if I honestly, have to say goodbye to Anthony Rizzo. I'll say goodbye to whoever, except for Mr. Uh, Baez. Except for Mr. Javier Baez. Am I being real? or No, I mean, you got to think about it. Javi is what, at least from a, you know, electrifying on the field standpoint Javi is what they wanted Chris Brown uh Chris Brown uh Chris Bryant to be as far as like the face of wow look oh my god you can't take his eyes off him when he's at bat well Javi's been more available that is a good pick yep Javi's been more available the Cubs probably would have loved to put all those eggs in the Chris Bryant basket but Javi's proven to be the superstar on and off the field that you just can't trade away right now True. I don't even know really I would honestly put Chris Bryant in the untouchable bucket as well. He's like because 
this isn't coming off the MVP season. Gonna, I know, but he's going to ask for a lot of money. And he's going to ask for a lot of money, but when you still got a couple more years. Year? Okay, two. A couple right. more years, so. To let him become Bryce Harper? Or, or just go back to his MVP year. He's going to have some nice lifting with his good old buddy from Carolina. What's his name? Who? Uh, McCaffrey. Oh, him and Christian? Yeah, yeah. Cool? No, nah, I'm just. Oh. That's so wrong. I didn't get any source from that. It just came from my okay. thermos. We'll be right back. Yeah. So I think, um, damn, man, the Cubs pissed me off. Yeah. Pop's it's talking like, about he don't even want to keep the tickets. Yeah, there's something about Chicago sports fans. I'll give you that, man. We are quick to bail on some those, shit. Those are hard to do. Cubs are, hard to come by. Yeah. Cubs, uh, Chicago sports fans are quick to give up on the MF. We are. We were done with the Bears last week. We, well, well, uh, well. Wow, we were coming off a victory last week, and we're coming off another victory. We were not done with the Bears. We were done with one person. Trubitsky. Who? Um, we were done with Trubitsky. You know. You are, right. you are absolutely I'm right. I'm going to introduce another name for Mitch Trubitsky this week. Is this diplomatic to wipe my nose during our show? Yeah, we'll, we'll, That's our show, damn it. That's what we do. We cut in a, Shit. a, a pick of Mitchy T here. Mitchy Trubitsky. But, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the stupid counter. mustache. I'm going to counter that. Do something with that, bro. Bad Mitch could be the title you said. Sure I'm going to say good Mitch is Mitchy Titties. That's from what some, I'm bringing back. You know what? Mitchy Titties. The information I heard. What's up? This weekend. What's up? I got to stop saying that because what if we, like, get press passes and this comes back to haunt us? But he'll be gone by then. We're not talking about the Bears organization. We love the Bears. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about their terrible choice of quarterback. Yeah. Yeah, which I don't think it's not his questions. choice. Mm -hmm. The coach didn't pick Trubitsky, so That's just fair. saying that. But we looked good. Um, Mitch Titties threw for three touchdowns this past Monday. Washington's a bad team. Bro. It's okay, but that's what you're supposed to do. Then you're supposed to take care of business on the road. That was still a road game, right? Um, we can talk about what the hell happened to uh, your boy, who's the corner over there in um, Washington. By way of Carolina, who's talking shit that he was the best quarter in the game. Anyways. Corner? Corner, yeah. Uh, oh, you mean Josh? Uh, yep, Josh. Uh, Y'all know what I'm talking about. Dread, with the Warren dreads. Yeah, with the Warren dreads, right? Oh. Um, he became barbecue chicken real quick. Josh Norman. Josh Norman. Joshua Norman. They did get a pick. Huh? Yeah, we could quick do that quickly. But that be dog. That was a pick in garbage time. But he threw it down like he did something. He's walking around. Yeah, yeah. angry because he know he was barbecue chicken the whole game. Anyway, Mitchie Titties, shouts out to you, man, for taking care of business. While we still have to critique, we also have to give praise. Some of us do. Some, what we got coming up? You know, with them because I don't know off the top. Next game? Yes. Minnesota. Oh, the team you said was gonna beat. The Bears play Minnesota. Okay. So, you know, Alvin Cook is looking good. Monster. You know who's looking scarier than Dalvin Cook, though? Defense. Defense. Yeah. The Bears' defense looks so frightening. You so already got goddamn a meme frightening. From the other day with. Oh, 52 yeah. Look, that's 52 a, look tough. That's bro. his game breaker move right he there. Looked tough. He had LeBron with the shout out on the move. Bro. You know? Oh, LeBron shot him up? Yeah, man, like that. I would assume Khalil Mack is the only person LeBron is would give the that. full yeah. co sign endorsement to do that game breaker, whatever move that's called. Khalil Mack. Right. <laughs> God damn, man. How do you game plan for somebody that you going to send? No, they, there was plays where they didn't block Khalil Mack. He had a sack where How? they forgot How? he was on the field. Wow. And then it's like you got 94 on the other side. Our D mm -hmm. is the shit. Pause. Big, big pause. <laughs> um, I don't know if the, any the Gruden D is doing what they both to do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's all, right. all about the D. Mm -hmm. Shout out to White Howard. <laughs> yeah. Dwight. Oh, this dude God. blames me for Dwight Damn. being in the LA. But you just said you don't hate Dwight. Praising Draymond, which I'm lost, cause I hate Draymond, bitch ass. Why was why did why didn't you hate that? Fuck Draymond. I didn't hate that Dwight didn't say some dumbass shit. Okay, that was my he wore take some dumbass shit. Yeah, I mean, and why he looked A like he was in yellow tank top with some beads. Why he looked like he was in the dungeon off a of Charmed I'm just with wondering. this interview with Shams. Shams. 
Hey, was it Shams? Shams. Shout out Shams, man. We'll uh, we'll get him on the show. We'll get him on the show one day. You got to speak this shit into existence, man. You right. He's an Everson boy. Hey, Sean, what up? Right. Oh, he from here? Yes. yes. So is Jake. Yes. Come on, man. Hey. Not too far off, right? We'll, we'll, we got to get we'll, Jason we'll get off on this show one day. Yes, you know we do. Jason, what's up, man? Yeah. We got his hey. We know that, dude. You, you got space and opportunity Damn. right here. Come on, golf. You know. Do too Hollywood for us. You know what I'm saying? Well, he hooping and shit. Rightfully so. Talking shit. Yes. Yes. You know? Um, wearing Jason's t-shirt. But go ahead. Man. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, My guy. You know I'm playing. Um, well, before you sent me into a tryptophobia over uh, Dwight Howard coming back to uh, to the Lakers, what the hell were we talking about? Uh, Warren, what were we talking about? The Trubisky in the yeah, de defense. The D. The D. Yes, the oh, D. yes. We were going on a I nice mean, little the defense about the better? Bears. D. No pause. Yeah, no pause on that one. But for real, what would we do, even though they don't want to let him go? With I don't know, Jaylen man. Jalen Ramsey. Oh, what would the Bears do with Jalen Ramsey? No. I don't think. We would immediately go to the Super Bowl with no, even though I think we are anyway. Ugh. Or when these stupid idiots in Carolina feel like Cam Newton is washed up and they trade him here. Mm -hmm. Would you? Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't take Cam Newton right now? I would. Another name, Derek Carr. Watch out for him to see if he ever becomes available. Speaking of the Grudens, I don't know if they uh, should be head coaches in the NFL anymore. No, I think it's over. Jay and John Their have been struggling a little no. bit. Um, hey, shout out Case Keenum for Dummy of the Week for trying to do a fourth and one from, you know, not the goal line, but trying to dive <laughs> and leap over smack that shit out his hand, thinking bro. that that would – you know, signal a whistle and nobody, everybody would stop the play. Yeah, that's what he thought. I did not expect something Cutler, so man. goddamn stupid to happen in a football game. You know, but Case Cuddy Keenum, shout out up. to you, man. Cuddy didn't fuck that up. Man. Um, Danny Trevathan, Roquan Smith. Bro. They had a game. Hakeem Hicks. Hey, we, hey, feel better, big boy. We need. We not yeah. playing none he of this. Early. My 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 uh, knee he hurts. Was just when the game was we in got the you right. Hit the ice bath. Rehabilitate. Kyle did his thing. Do what you need to do. I don't care if you don't practice dude, this week. Number twenty four. Talk about four. No, twenty four. Oh, you're talking about. Uh, Rains, he, he yeah, played. he came. Uh, he, Bryce Callahan. Ha ha. Bryce has had some ha ha's. Hey, I had a return back to uh. He had Washington. two interceptions. Shit. A return back to Pig Town. So, you got them beating Minnesota, yes? Absolutely. Okay. I got to take one of the do teams well. that I thought were going to win. Man, the whole Trubisky, uh, Mitchy Titties conversation will be, take a nice turn after this week coming up. Um, division game, already lost the first one. It's not. And Detroit is looking good. And Detroit's looking good. Hey, NFC North, tough, toughest division in football. Toughest division in football. We're not here to argue. The All four defenses, I bet you today, are top 15. Oh. The Bears, Packers, Dude, and, like and Vikings at a are probably all top ten. Three cans. Bears, in. Packers, Vikings, yeah. all top ten defenses. Yeah, you're right. You know what I'm saying? Like, Packers are killing. You know, Packers offense has also struggled a little bit. So are they I'm undefeated. Though? Yeah, yeah. But they also played the Bears, Broncos, and Vikings, but and they came out feet. three and zero out That's of that. Scary. You know. So That's we'll see. Scary. It's gonna be a dog fight, bro. We know they, about the Bears' they second have half. Our number, bro. Minnesota, um, Oakland, then we go on by. Tommy Terrific's coming. You got to take. You got to go two and zero these next two weeks. Is he coming weeks. here? No, we're going there. No, we've been recently back to uh, New England. No, because uh, I think they were here recently. Because I saw a tweet oh, about. Oh yeah, that. the Bears were here last. year. I mean, the Packers were here, were here last year. Patriots. Yeah, Patriots. Yes, and the Packers. Yeah, Patriots were here last year. Um, no, I do not win? see the Patriots on our schedule. No, we play the Chiefs. Yeah, we play yeah. the Chiefs. Yeah, yeah man, here. it's a hell of our was. back half. Once we're done with the yeah, goddamn... the Chiefs beat the shit out of Baltimore, so let's stop talking about the Chiefs. Let's stop talking about uh, Baltimore. It's going to be Chiefs-Bears Super Bowl. Let's stop talking about Baltimore? No, that, that game came down close. I wonder if we'll be talking like that if that wasn't your quarterback. Yeah. That you stole... 
off the waivers to teams like me. But there's no need to talk about fantasy. Which we'll do coming up next on the EC Sports Show. I said there was no need to speak about fantasy. You know why we got to talk about fantasy? We're not, no. We won't talk about records. We won't talk about and things like that. We have to talk about fantasy. Notes. What the fuck is a trade? Who is who? We are facing each other this week. Oh, we are. Yes, we are, my Finally. friend. So with that comes a side bet. Da, da, oh, da, yeah. Da. Um, and it's already tomorrow. I yeah. Got Philly going. So, so what are we trying to do? What are we trying to Who's do? Philly playing tomorrow? I, uh, the Packers. Mm. Philly's playing the Packers. Yeah. So you and yeah. you and Mr. Wentz will have a very ample opportunity to prove if you are going to get your first victory of the year. There for that. Um, all right. What you trying to What'd do for say? this week? What you say about my victory? What you trying to do this week? You trying to say I'm 0-3? Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. one and two, bro. Yes, but you know what? That's not. You know what? That's not. What are we trying to do? We're trying to put uh, a dub, 20 shekels what's on. Our, what's our record? I'm one and two, you on three. No, our overall betting record. Yeah, you are You are up two. You are two, zero oh, and one. Yeah. And I am one, zero oh, and one. Oh, one and one, you mean? No, I've won one of these. Yeah, yeah, we went out to. Uh, I know, but do you count double or nothing? We did oh, go. yeah, we did get some. That was some good chicken. We that still was, ain't was some good wings. We won't shout out the name of the place. The yeah. service sucked. sucked. Yeah, man. So what we doing? We playing a dub. Yeah. We playing a... Have to. Debskis. Yeah, Debskis. I thought we don't do money. Monica did Debski. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we put it We put it towards something. Yeah. yeah. So something. Outings, yes. An outing. EC Sports outings. Yeah. Got to bring Warren so we can... You know, have yeah, Warren's always the witness. He's like yeah. the the notary exactly. who is the uh, who is the witness of it. He's so always what are, hungry. What are we gonna do about your, what uh, uh, your team, D? I don't know. I what, what's the remedy for uh, this this skid? I have a lot of work to do. That's what position do you need the most? I want to make you In a trade. In the words on the of my guy, show. Russell, he's got to execute. Okay. Well, you might want to take Le'Veon Bell out of your, your lineup this week. You just got to execute. Mm-hmm. Who are they playing? They're on bye. Oh. Mm-hmm. Already? Yeah. Uh, week four buys. Okay. Um, is Le'Veon on the block to improve elsewhere? Like, uh, uh, um. what do you mean? Is Le'Veon Bell tradable? Yes. Okay. Everybody's on the block. I'm 0-3. What the fuck? Uh, okay. What position do you feel like you would like to upgrade the most? <sighs> Quarterback. Quarterback. Still is huge. Okay. So what's it going to take for... Um, Why are you out here trying to lambaste my team, man? I'm trying to help out my co-host. Why don't you try to help out Danny ass? He ain't won shit either. D- Danny beat me. Oh. Yeah. Danny beat me That's this week. Yep. You so, lost to Danny. You're Danny's first yeah, win. I, okay. Danny had literally, he had projected Danny, to be the best the way, record. Danny, by the way, is the EC Sports correspondent of L.A. Out West. Yes. West Coast EC Sports. Yeah, just so you guys know. EC Sports. I'm going to have Danny produce a show out there. Did I tell you? Oh, yeah? Like a weekly? He's going to send us, because we're paying Warren. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's going to send us a show. Okay. So we could uh, edit it our way. He's clothed, right? I need clarification, Dion. Your pa- your pause is giving me concern. Do we have to talk, start talking about matadors again? Oh man, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, we to you. gotta start talking about matadors again. I don't think uh. we do. No, we don't. I don't think we do on this sports show. Damn, what are you looking forward to this upcoming NBA season? NBA season right around the corner. Bulls about to, to get back into action. Can they sneak into an A spot? Looking forward to Bulls. I don't think it's a sneak. The East is so terrible. Uh, yeah. Really? Are they not? I, I, I can give you. Do it. I can't give you eight yeah. teams. Give me, give me teams in the East. The Bulls are better than. Okay, you forced me. You said that are, that they're better than? That the Bulls are better than. 
in the Eastern Conference. In in the Eastern Hemisphere Conference, yes. Okay. As uh, six nine comes up. Eastern. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yep. All right. Yep. Ah. Yeah. That they're better than. Yes. Uh. Yep. New York Knicks. The Knicks would be one. Okay. So that puts them as the 14th seed in the Eastern Conference. Say it again. So far, the Bulls are the 14th seed in the Eastern Conference. All right. Uh, Atlanta Hawks. That's going to be debatable this year. Okay, bro. Oh, sorry. Almost. Charlotte. Okay. Charlotte. All right, so the Bulls are He's the thir- Boston now, 13th bro. seed. Cleveland. The Bulls are Detroit. the 12th seed. No, I don't think they're better than Detroit. Why? Because Detroit D-Rose made the playoffs. There? Oh, yeah, shit. And D Rose there. My and bad. D- and D Rose there. Orlando what up, Magic. baby? Hey, D hey, Rose, do your Shout thing up D there. Rose. Do your thing up there. Oh, you know, you know all of Chicago. You know this you know, verse. Everybody Shout still. out to. Do you know the verse? What? Shout out to Derrick Rose. Man, that nigga nice. Okay, he's about to scare me, bro. I was with it. How you just go to Sunday like, service? I was like, yeah, Shout yeah, out to Derrick Rose. Man, that nigga nice. Uh, Washington Wizards. Uh, if Bradley Bill's still Toronto healthy, Toronto no. Raptors. They will not be better than the Raptors. They will not be better than the Raptors. The Raptors are still, you know, they won't be great, but the Raptors will still probably make the playoffs. Is this all the teams? Yeah, 15. You only get 15 of them. Right? Bulls are in a, the 11th best team uh, at best in the East right now. Yeah, Let's go not, back to what? Uh, one of our first shows together. Boston. Where God did. Boston. <laughs> Boston. As much as I love to slander the goddamn bitch ass Celtics. But think about it, bro. Who they're they not going to be better than the, the Celtics. Who I mean, I do not going they're to give the Celtics yes. compliments, but Jason Tatum is not a horrible basketball player. Why, Jalen look Brown like him? is not a horrible basketball player. Did he look like that Marcus Smart is not a horrible basketball player. Marcus Smart and, is a bum. And um, Marcus Smart with his fucked up skin and Brad, is a bum. He do, hey man, uh, hook that up, bro. Kendall Jenner is the face Shit. of proactive. You see the commercial. You're the lead. I bet you have slid in the Kendall's you know what? I'm not DMs. Gonna talk about it. She's got. Uh, she I don't like Marcus up. Smart's game. That's all, all right. I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna talk about his physical, but I don't like dude's game. He's so, whack. Don't ever say. Woj said they were putting together a team. You know that could compete in the future. Shout out Otto Porter Jr. Can't wait for your high percentage oh, corner threes and your God. low percentage every other. So you're gonna bash the Bulls? Are you gonna tell them that? Will you talk to him next week, Otto? What's up, Otto? That's your name, for real? I'm going to ask you. I think what? his name is Ottoman. Like, Otto. What is his name? It cannot be Otto. I would like to ask what um specifically he's been working on this summer. Cause I'd like to def- know what all these motherfuckers been. What is Wes? What is Carter? What's his name? Wendell, Wendell Carter. Carter. I, that's the only dude on the Bulls that I just got a lot of questions about. Okay. Well, we can't wait to talk to them. Media Day's coming up. Eastern hopefully sports. we get there. We're going to be in there, hopefully. All of us. Hello? 